So you were saying about LA, like, okay, some people... <laughs> Back to LA. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a track to follow. You know what I mean? like, so some people work, and then some other people do what? Uh, some people work. Some people are trying to be actors, musicians, models, comedians, hairstylists, makeup artists, producers, directors, um, famous photo cam people. You know, a lot of people here are pursuing their dream in the visual arts. And it's neat, a lot of people do well, and a lot of people waste their entire life knocking on doors and showing their pictures and having gigs. And nothing ever comes of it, and I don't know if it's satisfying or not. For me, it wouldn't be, you know, to suddenly be like 45, and I'm like, God, what am I doing here still? <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're not from here. I don't know, you just never know. You just never know. It's the life of an what are the type of people do you see except that the people who work, the people who want to be famous? What where, where, where else there is in your name? What else is here? Like just regular old families, you know? So it's a good place to raise a family, you think? It can be, yeah. It can be. But there's a lot of money here. So, and the schools are kind of screwed up. So you have to be really picky and choosy about what schools you go to. And there's a big difference there too. Like the normal school is kind of maybe not that good, and then the good school is very expensive. And then the kids that are there are um, raised by nannies, and they have a lot of money, and they're materialistic, and Sporty. they're screwed up too. You know, so it's hard to find a place where there's balance between the two. And so you say that daily changed. How how did that change? It's changed because there's more people here. I think that at one point it was much more natural. It's become really artificial and superficial. But I think that's probably like that everywhere. I don't know. But a lot of improvements are being done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, like people are changing their faces and their hair. It's like, wow. it's very exterior, like how you look. But you always were like that, no? I mean, the what? It always was like that, no? I guess. What so. do you feel in the the air that changed? Like, what what do you, among people you know, or uh -huh. what you see? What, what what is the main change you think? The main change is probably um, well, there's good and bad because some people have become really uh, aware of themselves and positive and uh, wanting to change the world through the media, you know, and then there's people that are totally self-absorbed and they just obsess on themselves and it's, it's apparent, you know. You know, when you walk around here, it's like, it's exterior, there's no real connections with people. Mm -hmm. But you, you feel safe to raise your, your son? in Los Angeles. Yes, but also I totally have uh, control on where he is at all times. You know, I pick where he goes to school, I pick whose friend's houses I want him to go to. You, you can't just let him go. It's not like a farm and run off with the... <laughs> with the How old were you when you had your son? 23. Did you hesitate? Or was it obvious? It was pretty obvious. There wasn't any question in my mind that I wasn't going to have him. And I'm completely pro-choice, so it wasn't that mm -hmm. I wouldn't allow myself to have an abortion. But I just knew that I had to have this kid. And I also wanted to have uh, the father. I wanted to have his child. So you were in love with the father, and therefore it was there was no question? I guess so, yeah. yeah. But I just wanted to. I knew we would make a good kid together. What was the father doing? Acting. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. <laughs> okay. oh. I mean, nothing huge, nothing small, making good money, you know. But a lot of women who are 23, they say, you know, I don't want to have a kid because I have so much to do, I want to travel, I want mm -hmm. to experience. What would you say to this woman who hesitate? Um, well, I think there's something that's really great when a young woman has a baby is because there's some naivety and you have to be naive because the older you get, the more you realize what's involved 
and how hard life really is. So being young at 23, I was just like, oh, I'm going to have a baby and it's going to be great. And, you know, like me, a mommy, and all this stuff. Now it's like, oh my God, I have to do this and I have to do that. And like, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, gotten harder. it's great to have that um, innocence. And there's no worry. Your body's strong. And also the other thing is when you hit your 30s, you're like, uh, so strong and that's when for me I feel like I'm ready to pursue my dreams for myself so if I didn't have a kid yet I'd be kind of mixed up because I wouldn't have fulfilled that inherent nature to be a mother and then also pursue my own mm -hmm. ideas and visions what do you mean when you hit your thirties? You feel, you feel so you, I don't know I'm in my thirties I feel so weak so well, maybe, I'm talking <laughs> maybe you need a kid <laughs> No, it's like, just for a woman, you just reach a maturity level or, or confidence. You're sure of yourself more, you know. You know what you experience. want, what you don't want. People and... take you serious. Oh, wow. Like, in your 20s, no one takes you serious. Really. You know, you're like, oh, she's in her 20s, and this is cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Especially what I'm doing now yeah. with the healing work is that I do have an experience, and I have had a child, and I have given birth, and I have had problems, and I have healed myself, so it, it helps to have a few years Some on Some people respect work. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, most. Where when I was 23, it was like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, That's you're true. just, you know, like, hmm. 